Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the replication initiation in prokaryotes. Okay, here we basically discuss about the replication of E. coli. Okay, suppose Suppose this is the whole genome of E. coli. You know, and it contains a total 4.2 into 10 to the power 6 base pair. Okay, now suppose here a region is present which is called origin. More specifically, it is called origin of replication. origin of replication where the replication is initiated okay now if we elaborate this origin of replication region then we can see that now this is the this is the origin region and it is called ODC ODC and it contains 245 base pair. Okay, now this ODC region contains two series of repeats. One is the 9 base pair repeat sequence, it contains four repeats, and another is 13 base pair. Repeat sequence, it contains three repeat, and this 13, 13 base pair repeat sequence is 80 rich. Okay, now how they present in the OEC region? Nine more repeats are present like this. This is the nine more repeats, nine base pair repeat, and here here is a thirteen more repeat is present. This is a thirteen base pair repeat. Okay, and it is eighty each. Okay, now this is the ODC structure. Okay. Now DNA replication initiates when 20 to 30 monomer of DNA A, that is the initiator protein, come and bind to the 9 base pair repeats. Okay. And the binding of DNA A to the 9 base pair repeats create a coil in the DNA structure in this position, like this. Like this and this, these are the nine more repeat. And DNA A protein bind there like this. Okay, and then 13 more repeats present there. Now, the binding of DNA A to the 9 more repeats create a torsional stress in the 80 rich region of 13 more repeats, and the 80 rich region is easily denatured from each other because 80 rich region contains only two hydrogen bonds between them compared to. GC bonds that contain three hydrogen bonds between them. So, ATH region is uh, so weak and they uh, denature very easily. 
and produce a replication bubble. Okay, like. like this and DNA A is still bind to the dimer repeat okay and this replication bubble creates two replication pores and now DNA C that is the helicase loader uh, carry DNA B that is the DNA helicase and recruit it to the two replication pore okay like this okay and the role of uh, role of dna b that is the dna helicase is to unwind the dna by breaking the hydrogen bonds between them and the energy comes from atp hydrolysis okay now the dna b go ahead in two uh, direction that is the bi direction go ahead bi directionally and it creates a topographical stress that is the positive supercoiling in the DNA and it this positive supercoiling prevent the DNA B to go further okay and this stress is uh, removed by DNA gyrus DNA gyrus come and remove the super positive supercoil from the DNA and then again DNA B go ahead to denature to unwind the DNA stands okay now now SSB protein that is a single strand binding single, single strand DNA binding protein come and bind to single strand of DNA and it stabilizes the single stranded DNA so that the single strand DNA cannot denature okay and this complex is known as known as pre priming complex pre priming complex and this is the whole process of replication initiation in prokaryotes okay thank you for watching this video